Good morning, everyone. Uh, sorry, I'm sorry, sorry to make a delay. I'm, uh, I'm a Song Kim from KAIST, and I'm a PhD student and colleague of the first author of the, this paper, Arjun Kumar. Unfortunately, he cannot come today, so I, I will present this paper on behalf of him. So I'm not the author of this paper, so I'm a little bit worried, but I will try my best. <laughs> yeah, OK. So do you remember the time when you bought the new smartphone? Um, I remember that my smartphone, it lasts over 12 hours, but now my phone is three years old, and it lasts over uh, around six hours now. So experience with uh, such a uh, battery aging problem, which means that the battery running time goes down to the decrease of the maximum is not only bound for the smartphone. Uh, it is become more even serious. So uh, IoT device, uh, then there's question. And we cannot expect that when uh, checking the battery has one by one time. We imagine that uh, uh, battery replacement. Then it would be uh, notified uh, this timing Takers a problem of battery health estimation. Health of battery is a uh, fresh battery capacity of uh, current battery capacity. To know the state of battery capacity, and we focus on the how to know the battery capacity in this work. So um, we propose a simple but effective model to estimate battery health using VH dynamics um, to uh, without. Uh, additional uh, without hard, additional hardware and uh, without, uh, in a computationally cheap way. So, what is VH? Um, please look at the red box in the left figure. The VH is the sudden voltage drop that happens when discharge current is loaded. This the the voltage drop happens because of internal resistance of battery uh, as a voltage as a voltage which applied to the internal resistance increases uh, voltage drop occurs in v out in right figure so let's let's look at the right figure uh, via out can be represented as a ocv minus vr here ocv means open circuit voltage and it is equal to o ocv minus i multiply r and on instant current change, the change of V out would be R multiply delta I, and that is a VH. So we are estimating battery health using the fact that VH increases as the battery ages. So as you know, the initial resistance increases as the battery ages, and so will the VHs. The voltage drop here can be easily measured. So that we use. So, is existing uh, estimating battery capacity techniques are not appropriate for small battery powered IoT devices. They need uh, additional hardware or, com or computationally expensive, have poor accuracy, or need recalibration often. So that we here, uh, this paper tries to build a simple model which is computationally cheap and does not require additional hardware, only need a voltage value. So this is the study overview. Uh, the authors built two models, two linear regression models using VH dynamics. The first model is to predict active battery usage time using VH, and the second model is, uh, is to predict the battery capacity using active battery usage time. So I think, uh, uh, this is preliminary work so that we don't uh, evaluate this can be predict the uh, uh, battery capacity using VH, but we think uh, it is possible to predict the better, uh, predict battery capacity using VH with these two models. And the authors evaluate the models, and for the uh, evaluation and the building a model, they use the publicly available battery data set from NASA. So now I will briefly introduce about the data set they used in the work. Um, 
eight lithium-ion batteries were continuously operated for 11 months. And then these uh, batteries were repeatedly charged to 4.2 voltage and discharged to 3.2 voltage using randomized sequence of discharging current between 0.5 ampere to 5 ampere. Here, two customized probability distribution are used to select the new discharge load between 0.5 and 5 ampere, but we call this distribution high skewed and low skewed, and I will explain in the next slide. And a uh, randomized discharging sequence consists of discharging event and this event, discharge in, in a discharge event, discharging period that lasts one minute and resting for one second. And this, within one second, they uh, uh, select a new discharge load for the next event. And the data profile, uh, for each profile, two batteries, two batteries profile is a con a uh, combination of two different temperature and two discharg discharging load. Because the battery is very sensitive to the discharging load and temperature, they use two variables. So I will explain about uh, the low skewed and high skewed. In the low skewed setting, the, the distribution were designed to uh, skew toward being uh, lower current. And in higher, in higher, in, in the high skew setting, the higher current were select with higher probability. And then they also uh, uh, operate, uh, apply reference discharge se sequence after every uh, five randomized sequence. The purpose is to calculate the rep reference uh, current battery ca capacity after the uh, 50 randomized sequences. And here they fix the discharge load with one ampere, and the, the discharging period lasts for 10 minutes and rests for 20 minutes. And the authors here, uh, they create a model using one battery for uh, each profile. And as you can see in the right figure, um, we can observe that VH is linearly associated with uh, active better uses time. We determine the goodness of linear fit using r square value, and r square value is larger than 0 0.9 at room temperature, and or R2, uh, in high, high temperature setting, it is around 0 0.85. So the figure on the left is on the, under the setting of a low skewed and room temperature, and the right is in a, is a battery from high skewed and room temperature. Uh, as you can see, the authors observed that in high skew setting, the data points uh, tended to more scatter than that of uh, low skew. Um, then the authors also evaluate the model using the other battery data points within the same profile. In the room temperature setting, which are shown as the purple dots and green dots, uh, the data fit well with the model, but uh, and the absolute median, median absolute percentage error is less than a certain percent. And but uh, in the high temperature setting, uh, which shown as red and blue dots, they do not fit well now. So yeah. From now on, I explain the linear association between VH and active battery usage time. The authors also explored, explored the linear association between active battery usage time and battery capacity. They build a model to predict battery capacity using uh, active usage time. And the I square values are uh, over 0, 0 0.95 and from R, from R4 discharge profile and eight batteries. So we think, uh, yeah. So this is the last slide. And um, the author suggests two directions of the future work. One is the elaboration of uh, the mo model at high temperature. 
we, as we know, as we see before, we observed that the linear association between the active battery usage time and VH at both room temperature and high temperature, but the error was relatively higher, bigger at high temperature than low temperature, so that we should uh, figure it out how to, how to make it. So, and so we plan to collect more data and elaborate on the relationship between VH and active battery usage time. Currently, we just used uh, data from only two battery per profile, so it's very small now. And we, they also uh, consider the health estimation with more dynamic discharge load. Um, this, this present mod model is developed with the randomized sequence load, this randomized discharge loads, so that it is not proper to uh, in the dynamic setting. So that th there are some IoT device that could have more dynamic discharge loads, so we want to uh, make a model for the in the dynamic setting. Um, thank you. Any, any questions? Okay.